Attention! Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another music lesson here on the screen with me. Hey, let me hear you go like this. Yes, you've got rhythm. I know that. Well, today we are going to meet some amazing musicians. Now, music has many expressions in many traditions all over the world. But one thing that you might know about is music has been used for ages and ages as part of military traditions. Now, here in our country, the United States of America, our military is known for having amazing bands, groups of musicians. And today we are going to hear from the United States Army Field Band. The musicians of the Army Band are going to share and show their instruments for us. So I know if you're in kindergarten through third grade, you'll be interested in learning about this stuff. But my fourth and fifth graders pay real careful attention because when you head off to middle school before too long, you will have an opportunity to join the middle school band and choose from these types of instruments to play. We'll hear about the wind section and the brass section and some of the percussion instruments that are used in bands. And we're talking about marching bands, field bands, bands used for sporting events, and here in Asheville City Schools, we have great bands in the middle school and high school that you can join when you get to be that age. But musical instruments are fun to learn about whether or not you plan to be a musician. So please do pay careful attention and enjoy this little video of the U.S. Army Field Band demonstrating their instruments for us. Now pay careful attention because I'll have some questions for you to answer at the end. But without further ado, let's hear from these amazing soldiers and musicians as they show us their instruments. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Lauren Curran. This is the United States Army Field Band instrument demonstration video. Today we are going to demonstrate the standard wind and percussion instruments used in the concert band. We'll start with the flute. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Pam Daniels, and this is a flute. The flute is one of the highest pitched instruments in the band. While it is a woodwind instrument, flutes are usually made of metal. This one is made of gold and silver. The sound is created by blowing across a small hole in the head joint here and pressing down these keys to change the notes. In a band, flutes often sit in the front and get to play many different styles of music, from beautiful, slow, lyrical melodies like you just heard, to fast, technical show pieces like this. I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Schramborg, and this is the oboe, another member of the woodwind family. As you can see, it looks very similar to the clarinet, but with one crucial difference. The oboe uses this, a double reed, which is two pieces of cane tied together. When I blow air into the reed, the two pieces of cane vibrate together to make a sound. Oboe reeds are very delicate and must be handled with care. Each reed is handmade, usually by the oboe player, and only lasts for a few days. The oboe has a rich, complex sound 
and is frequently used as a solo voice in band and orchestra because it has such a clear, emotive sound that carries over the ensemble. Because of its evocative sound, there are many beautiful solos in our repertoire. Here is one by Tchaikovsky. The oboe can also sound very exotic. Here is a solo from the Bacchanal from Samson and Delilah. And that's the oboe. I'm Staff Sergeant Joel Clanky, and this is the clarinet. The clarinet also uses a reed, but unlike the oboe's reed, it doesn't actually make any sound by itself. But when you attach it to the mouthpiece and put the mouthpiece on the instrument, it sounds like this. The clarinet is known for its warm, rich tone color, and it's also known for its ability to play extremely softly. Another thing that makes the clarinet special is that many composers wrote some of their greatest music for the clarinet. So if you play this instrument, you'll get to play some amazing music that's really fun to play. That's the clarinet. Hi everyone, I'm Sergeant First Class Brian Sakawa, and this is the saxophone. The saxophone was invented by Belgian instrument maker Adolf Sax to combine the power of the brass with the agility of the woodwinds. I think the saxophone is one of the coolest instruments, and I actually started playing it in fourth grade because I had a friend who was taking private saxophone lessons, and he was like the coolest guy in the world. So I had to be like him. Other than being really cool, one of my favorite things about the saxophone is its beautiful tone. <laughs> Now, the other thing I love about the saxophone is its versatility. I can play in any type of band, a concert band, a marching band, an orchestra, a rock band, and of course, a jazz band. the saxophone. Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Thayer Crutcher and I play the bassoon. Like the oboe, the bassoon is a woodwind instrument and part of the double reed family. It uses a reed similar to the oboe. 
If you play the reed by itself, it sounds a little funny, maybe even a little weird. When you put it on the instrument, it sounds like this. The bassoon, much like the clarinet, has keys, and it also has holes. It can play relatively low and fairly high, which make, makes it have a wide range. It can play funny things. Or more serious things. And that's the bassoon. Hello, I am Staff Sergeant Kevin Paul, and this is the trumpet. The trumpet is a member of the brass family. Like all brass instruments, the trumpet uses a mouthpiece. And you play the trumpet by buzzing your lips into it. When you put the mouthpiece into the trumpet, it sounds like this. The trumpet is known for playing bugle calls and fanfares. And also for its powerful heroic character. Another thing that makes the trumpet great is its versatility. It can play soft and lyrical passages. And that's the trumpet. I'm Staff Sergeant Becky McLaughlin, and this beautiful brass instrument is a French horn. As a brass player, I also buzz my lips into a mouthpiece. And the French horn uses the smallest mouthpiece in the brass family. Your school may use single horns, which have three rotor valves, and one row of tuning slides. The horn I play is called a double horn, like you would see in orchestras and bands. It has three valves, a thumb valve or a trigger, and two sets of tuning slides. This gives me a huge range of pitches. Your right hand goes into the bell of the horn, and it normally stays in the same spot. But if you close it up into the bell, you can make the horn sound muted or stopped. I love the French horn for its versatility. You've heard it play big, powerful fanfares. Warm, rich melodies like this one from Jurassic Park.
other great melodies like this one. <laughs> And that is the French horn. Hello, I'm Master Sergeant Aaron Cattermas, and this is the trombone. It has a cup-shaped mouthpiece, just like all the other brass instruments, and it sounds like this. <laughs> When you put the mouthpiece back in the horn, the trombone sounds like this. The biggest difference between the trombone and all the other instruments is the slide. Everyone else has to push some kind of button to change the pitches, while the trombone player moves the slide in and out. When a trumpet player, for instance, pushes down on one of his or her valves, the length of the trumpet changes because the valves are routing air through longer or shorter tubes. The trombone slide literally makes the horn longer or shorter, and you can actually see it happening. Here's a funny little tune that demonstrates the slide very well. Another way to change notes on brass instruments is by making the lips buzz faster or slower, which is done mostly by changing airspeed and embouchure. By changing how fast your lips buzz, you can play many different notes on the same fingering, or in my case, in the same slide position. Since brass instruments are well suited to playing loud, exciting music, I'll end with something you just might recognize. And that's the trombone. Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Lauren Curran and I play the euphonium. The euphonium might sound like a strange word, but it means beautiful sound. The euphonium is a low brass instrument, basically a smaller version of the tuba. It does indeed have a beautiful sound and can play gorgeous singing melodies, as well as powerful brassy music. Like the other brass instruments, you play by buzzing your lips into the mouthpiece. When the mouthpiece is attached to the instrument, that vibration goes through the euphonium and makes this sound. The euphonium can play lovely lyrical music. Euphonium also makes a great solo instrument because we use blazing fingers to play fast, virtuosic music. And that's the euphonium. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Scott Devereaux, and I play the tuba. The tuba is the biggest member of the brass family and also uses the biggest mouthpiece. Mm. 
When you put the mouthpiece and the tuba together, the instrument amplifies that sound into this sound. The tuba has a lot of tubing. Stretched out, the tuba would be as long as a school bus. The tuba's length gives it its low pitch, making it one of the lowest voices in the entire band. It establishes the foundation of sound and pitch for any ensemble. It's an extremely important job that helps make the rest of the band sound great. You may think that a tuba can't play fun melodies, but that's just not true. In the right hands, the tuba can play nearly anything. As a student, when my band parts weren't challenging enough, I would figure out fun melodies at home to play on my tuba. Often, they were from my favorite TV shows, movies, or video games. Here's an example you might recognize. And that's clearly the best instrument of the brass section, the tuba. I'm Staff Sergeant Andy Emmerich, and this is the snare drum. The snare drum is one of the primary non-pitched instruments of the percussion family. It's a type of membranophone, meaning you strike a membrane or a drum head to create the sound. The snare drum has two heads and a set of snares on the bottom. So here's the top head and the bottom. And the snares run along the bottom head to create the characteristic sound. Although we don't play pitched notes on the snare drum like other instruments, we can use rolls, ornaments, and dynamics to create musical phrases. The bells, also called the glockenspiel, are an example from the pitch side of the percussion family. Plastic or metal-headed mallets are used to strike the steel bars. Here are two contrasting examples of what could be played on the bells. And that's percussion. Thank you for watching the United States Army Field Band Instrument Demonstration Video. For other educational resources, including instructional videos and reference recordings, please visit armyfieldband.com. <laughs>
Well, I hope you found that as entertaining and educational as I did. I learned a few things when I watched that video for the first time, even though I know a lot about all those instruments. So I hope you learned a lot too, and I hope you enjoyed answering those questions at the end, and I hope you will stay musical, everybody. Until next time, have a great afternoon.